What up? So Tim Ali here, the Reverend of the Revolution. Welcome to your Daily Revolution. Today's topic, Torn Achilles. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. About a month ago, I was up in Utah, and I tore my Achilles. That was crazy how it happened. I'm sitting at this American Ninja Warrior Park. It's my son's birthday party. He turned seven. We're celebrating all the cousins and nieces and nephews and aunts and uncles are there. And we're having a great time. Now, I've been up to this point losing fat, working out, hired a new trainer, nutritionist, and it's been amazing. Eating every single day, prepping my meals, prepping my meals when I flew to Vegas, prepping my meals when I flew to Seattle. I took literally a suitcase of food. I'm committed. I get to Salt Lake and I'm prepping food and I'm healthy and I'm strong. That day, I'd run about five miles, hike between hiking and running, working out every day for three hours on vacation, and I'm sitting at the park, right, this American Ninja Warrior Park, and I see the 11-foot wall, and of course, I jump up, it was easy, right, 11-foot wall, no problem. I see the 14-foot wall, and I'm like, I'm doing this, oh yeah, and I jump up on the wall, and I hear this snap, snap my Achilles. Like, and I knew it right away. I knew it was gone. The whole area was numb. I couldn't move my foot. I couldn't put any pressure on it. Like, it was done. And immediately my mind went to this, like, oh my goodness. Like, what am I going to do? I've got immersion coming up. I've got to travel to Utah to speak. I've got to travel to Dallas to speak. I've got all kinds of things going on. How in the world am I going to do this? And I've had six surgeries already. So I just wasn't too worried. Like, I knew it. And in the moment, I wanted to cry. I was just like, man. It took me a few moments of just like, I kind of felt sorry for myself. But like any kind of adversity that we face, like, let's be real. You are not immune from adversity. Nobody is. So, right, we were supposed to go home the next night. We went home the next morning. I drove straight home. I reached out to my network of people put it on Facebook, and I got connected with the surgeon who does a lot of the athletes, you know, San Diego Chargers. So, tore my Achilles on Friday, had the surgery on Wednesday, and I am now almost three weeks from surgery, three and a half weeks from tearing the Achilles, and there's some incredible lessons that I wanted to share here. Number one, create a new normal. There's a new normal going on in my life right now. There just is. What's the new normal? Everything takes longer to use the restroom, to get ready and the shower. Now I got to use the bathtub to get in and out of vehicles, to get in and out of the store. Like everything takes longer. That's the new normal. So often, like we want to go change our lives. We want to transform. We want to have a greater marriage. We want to make more money. We want to lose weight. But the old normal will not get you there. The old normal will keep you stuck. So my new normal, right, is I dropped all the expectations of how I was living. I dropped all the old ways of being. And what happens now? I know my new normal is everything takes longer. Second part of this lesson from the torn Achilles is ask for help. I'm asking my wife and kids to do pretty much everything. To plug my phone in, to make my food, to make my drinks, to get my laptop, to get my bag, to get my towel, to help me out. Like, and look, we've, we, I ran immersion. I was in immersion four days after my surgery. Immersion is our, right, Shield Main Live, manwealth.com. It's our four-day experience. We start at 6 a.m., we finish at 8 p.m. I'm on a scooter, and my wife is with me everywhere, and my wife is helping me out, and I'm asking my team for help. I'm asking my sons for help. Like, I just have to be humble. So here's my question for you. Is there a new normal in your life that you need to create right now? Number two, are you asking for help? Now, it's not like I'm asking them to do things that I can do by myself. No, I'm asking them for help so I don't hurt myself. Don't want to hurt myself anymore. So I got the torn Achilles. 
New normal, asking for help. Third thing is use your network. Who's in your huddle? Oh my goodness. I found my surgeon because of someone on Facebook saw my post. It was great. He hooked me up, talked to, like it was a Saturday. The doc, the surgeon is texting me because like, obviously he wants business. Find out he's done hundreds and hundreds of these Achilles from the athletes, college, professional. So I connect with him and I use him as my surgeon. I also drive to San Diego, but hey, I'm going to go use someone that I can trust. Who in your network today could help you right now? Who are you not asking for help from because of your ego? It's amazing. And I want you to know you're going to be humbled. This is more of a very personal podcast. You are going to be humbled. You will be humbled. You will be tested. You will be tried. Things just happen. Like I tore my Achilles. It happened. I can't do anything about it. But what I can do something about is my attitude, my paradigm, my mindset. What I can do something about is how I react to everything, how I choose to see the world. What I can do something about is completely my perspective on this, which means what? My friends, you can do the same thing. You can do the exact same thing. Like you really can. Don't become a victim. The worst thing that I could do right now is just lay down and feel sorry for myself and overeat and be mad and angry at the world. And there's been a few times over the last few weeks that I've, I've, got, I've kind of gotten a little short. Yesterday was one of them. I'm like, dude, just killing me. And then I just had to remind myself, Satema, what do you want? What do you want with your life, Satema? What do you want to have happen as a result to the Achilles? I want to be stronger. I want to be closer to my wife and to my kids. I want to be closer to my God. I want to be mentally stronger. I want to be a leader of leaders, a global influencer. Which means I'm going to have to face this Achilles injury with tenacity, with resilience, with power and certainty. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're listening to this, you might be like, well, that's great. You know, I don't have an Achilles tear. You're going to have something in your life right now that's going to challenge the heck out of you. So my invitation to you, be the person in charge. Don't be a victim of circumstance and conditions. Don't be a victim of situations. Don't be a victim of your injuries or something that's going on with your body. Get it handled. I'm having to adjust everything, my calories in. I cannot work out. I literally cannot work out because I tried last week. And as I try to work out, my foot swelled up. And one of my buddies, again, I reached out to him. He just had Achilles surgery three months ago. He told me, he said, hey, Tim, you need to rest for 30 days. You need 30 days of just sleep and supplements and water and raw material so your body can just heal. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm on it. And I'll tell you what's going to happen right now. I'm going to emerge from this a more powerful more certain, more clear. And there's so many other blessings and lessons that I'm, that I'm still un, not seen and unaware of. And that's okay. Some of the greatest blessings that we ever see, some of the greatest insights in our lives are only seen in hindsight, which means we've got to get through the, the, the adversity, got to be able to handle this adversity. And yes, one final lesson, if you don't use it, you lose it. My goodness. I haven't walked to my cat for three weeks now. Guess what? Sucker is shrinking. It's tiny. And if, you, if you've ever seen, like, I got some big calves. I mean, I got some really, like, some big Polynesian calves. It's shrinking. But guess what? I could stress about it. Oh, my calf's shrinking. What's wrong? Like, I don't, I'm not using it, so I'm going to lose it. That's what happens in marriage. You don't use your, your relationships. You don't use your sales skills. This happens in marriage. This happens with family. You don't water a relationship. It dies. You don't keep your spirituality strong. It goes weak. You don't use your body, you lose the muscles. You lose the capacity. Use it or lose it. That's how it goes. Like, I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. It's time to start podcasting again. I've taken some time off, but it's good to be back. So, look, if you're listening to this for the first time, or just go leave me a comment, share this on, send me a message. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear from you what you'd like to hear in the Daily Revolution as we continue to roll the movement forward. 
Have an amazing day. I'm out. For more info on joining the revolution and living your greatest life of prosperity today, go to www.yourdailyrevolution.com and join us in waking up, turning your brain on, and prospering today.